Hello everyone and welcome to Reyes. I am so excited to be able to play this game again. This is going to be a nice, beautiful, casual game that we're going to relax with this afternoon. And for those of you guys who have not seen Reyes before, it is gorgeous for one thing. I mean, look, there's ferns! There's already ferns here! So of course it has my mark of approval. But we basically play as four different titans that go around the world and we raise up different mountains, we put in valleys or add oceans, we put in swamps and we try to mix everything together in such a way that we can bring prosperity and happiness to our people that we take care of. So I'm really excited to play this again and I will show you guys how it's done. Hopefully I remember how not to be a horrible set of titans and you can be a horrible set of titans if you want to. You can raise people up and smash them back down. So it's all within our control and we'll go ahead and start a new game. So let's see. We'll have a long time limit. Let's see, or a short time limit? Hmm. We'll go ahead and we'll do a shorter time limit and a game mode. In Era, you help humanity to, to achieve developments and progress through the game while unlocking greater powers for your titans. Free play, we play as long as we want, but we won't progress anywhere. In the beginning, there's just an empty planet and then you kind of build up over time. But I think we'll go ahead and we'll do Era right now. And let's just go in and start. It's been probably over a year since I last had a chance to play Reyes. Oh, look at all of it. Oh, the little flowers and the little butterfly. Uh, and yes, your titans actually can be attacked by the people. Your giants are strong, but not indestructible. So you can get attacked by the people, so you really need to watch out for that. And let's go ahead and jump on in. All right, a new era begins. Developments achieved. I've achieved quite a few, 28 out of 69. Try to achieve different developments so we may grow in power. And some developments that we have not yet achieved include Swamp Town. Finish an era with a Swamp Town that has 300 village prosperity. Forest City. Finish an era with a Forest Village which has 500 village prosperity. Or Swamp City. Finish an era with a Swamp Village that has 500 village prosperity. So it sounds like we might want to focus on swamps. We'll see if we can get a village up to 300 village prosperity and yeah there's a whole bunch of different things that we can work on but I think that's what we'll work on today is village prosperity and maybe completing great projects so let's dive in all right and we've got hints on and here is our planet and here are our titans aren't they handsome look at them this is the rock titan the forest titan the water titan and the swamp titan and as we move them around, they will do different things. The Ocean Titan, our Water Titan right here, can create oceans. They can also put down domestic animals, and that will let people have somewhere to eat, uh, something to eat as well, and you can level that up so that they can end up with more and more uh, animals, better food, they can grow in prosperity. We've got our Swamp Titan right here, and we actually do want to create a swamp to get this started. It creates a giant area full of puddles and flora, a wet wasteland, and turns a forest into a swamp. We can also put down herbs, and the herbs can be used to give tech to our villagers. So those are very, very useful. And we can also put down exotic animals, but we need a desert to do that. So each of the titans kind of has a different effect on the other areas, not just over their own. So you want to move them around a lot and you want to have them do different things. It's been a very long time since I played, so we might have some bumps along the way. We can also raise a forest. The forest giant raises trees to turn wet wastelands and swamps into a forest. We can plant down fruit, but it needs to go into a forest. We can also add leaf aspect, which upgrades a plant to have leaf aspect, and that'll give it more technology and natura. And technology, natura, food, those are all aspects that our little village needs in order to do well. Oh no, and I think I accepted the wrong things. Okay, so we're not having a swamp. I get it, so we accepted different things. So we're gonna try to complete three different projects, make a hunter community, Finish an era with a village which has 250 prosperity and only uses animals, so that might be a harbor side. Harbor town, finish an era with a village that has 400 village prosperity and at least eight ocean patches within its borders. So it looks like we're having a harbor town, not a swamp town, but that's fine, that'll be fun. And finally we have the handsome rock titan. 
and he raises mountains up high enough to stop the rain traveling from the ocean and it can turn the area into a dry wasteland so he's used to like create desert and mountains basically and he can also put precious minerals deep into the ground as well which is very very interesting and you can put in advanced minerals which help to raise tech so let's go ahead and get started and we're going to create an ocean and we'll just start right there boom in it goes in it goes look at how cool that is and we're going to go ahead and come over here and we'll create a swamp right on the edge we, now we want to make sure we have like quite a few tiles that are against the ocean so we might have to play with this a little bit hmm so let's come over here and then ocean titan i want you to move we're gonna have ocean titan come over here oh look at that isn't that awesome and we'll have ocean titan come over and see if we can get we'll do this for now and we'll try to raise up a little village and make them prosperous right here. All right, and we need food for them. So how can we add, I'm trying to remember how I add fish. This is domestic animals. Is it you who adds fish? Somebody adds fish. Let's see, precious minerals, or is it you, forest titan? This guy adds plants. Yeah, it raises plants up out of the ground. And you can see this is where you start working on it. There's ocean titan. Whoops, adding a little bit more. Huh. Exotic animals? The swamp giant creates animals that provide wealth. So let's go ahead and we'll get that started. And we might as well get some precious minerals deep in the ground too. So we'll come over here. Let's see. That's leaf aspect. Oh, look, there's little people starting to come in. All right. That's wonderful. So we've got a village, a swamp village has settled. Swamp villages often start projects that require technology. Try using advanced minerals and herb plants within the village borders. All right, so work on that. No, you, want, you don't want to do that anymore. There we go. I think we scooched him over here now. Oh, look at our tiny little swamp village. It's called Blue Wood. It's not that greedy. The more greedy they are, they cause mischief for our titans. So they're not influenced by danger. It's currently peaceful. The druid challenge has started. Ooh. So now we've got the druid challenge. A druid considers living near this village. Oh, so we want to try to attract a druid here. And we need to, yeah, we need to bring in objectives, technology and use 30%. So, or like 30. So we need to put in some, some tech items. So let's come right over here then. We'll start that up. Now, how on earth? I can't remember if I put this over here. Does that count? I'm going to see what this does if I put domestic animals right here. Is that going to give me fish? Oh, it gave me fish! Yes! Oh, that's fantastic. A new nomad is roaming the planet looking for a nice place to settle a village. All right. Well, we can, we can handle that. I'm going to go ahead and get that started. We'll raise up a forest over here just to get stuff going on the other side because really the swamp town is going to be our main focus and we want it to grow and this will let us know uh, how much it needs to grow. So we need more wealth and we need more technology. So we'll work on that a little bit. Let's see, growth aspect. Upgrades a plant with a growth aspect, adding food in nature. Well, we don't want to add food, unfortunately. Uh, herbs gives a plant rise from the ground. Herbs give tech. We can upgrade it over time. Animals provide wealth. Let's come over here. Let's put more domestic fish. Let's see, village borders. I think the village borders are just outside of what would be useful for the fish too. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think my villagers will come over here and gather this up. They're like, we need some food. I know guys, hang on. I'm trying to remember. Oh, it's so fun though. All right, I wonder if I can put we can add more advanced minerals right here, maybe? Or will that get rid of my herbs? Ooh, okay. So that did get rid of my herbs. So I think that, that but that did really good on the, the tech. So, hmm. We need 30 tech all together. All right. And the nomads, meanwhile, are roaming the world. And we can get some forest going over here. And I think I need to get, like, a tiny bit more ocean put in. 
because they need to be a swamp town. At least eight ocean patches within its borders. Well, I think the borders will, will open up bigger on the town the more we add to it. We just need to add a little bit more wealth. So let's see, how could I add more wealth in here? Where's the border of your village, little guys? I'm gonna try putting some over here and see what happens. All right. And actually, I guess I could provide more wealth if I come over here and replace their little exotic animals, but we'll see what this does. All right, that added a little bit more wealth. Is it outside of the forest borders though? I think it might be, darn. All right, so let's try this. Precious minerals to add wealth right here. We'll see what happens. Here's the whole planet. Apparently there's some nomads wandering somewhere that need a little bit of help. So let's just start putting down more pieces. Oh, look at that. That definitely added a ton more wealth. Now I just need my little swamp people to come over and like start working with it. So this is the entire area that's under their effect. Okay, I got that. All right, so as cool as the exotic animals are, they're definitely not precious minerals. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. So I think we'll put down another precious mineral patch right here in just a second. Oh, I love how pretty it is. Forest giant, why don't you put down more forest? And then we'll have you put down some plants as well. Oh, look at him go. Did you finish? Oh, I think I moved him too quickly. Sorry, forest giant. I didn't mean to startle you. There we go. And you can see where he has just put down a whole bunch of fruits that any nomads who wander this way can eat. I'm gonna go ahead and have you actually turn this area. A forest village is settled, yes! Oh, look, there they are, little forest village. Because they have food right here, so they're very excited about that. All right, and you, sir, precious minerals right here, please, because we actually don't want them to use food from this spot. Does that help? Hmm. I cannot remember how to make it grow. Wealth and use, okay. We're definitely, definitely doing something here. How do I get you to grow? No danger. Blue, Blue Stone Clan has settled. Hmm. Technology and use, I guess we wanna focus on tech. That's true, you can always go back and change some of the things that you're doing uh, in the different areas. So let's go ahead, is this the village border? Yeah, this is village border. You can always kind of alter what the land looks like and how you're building uh, what the villages are in the future. All right. And we do want ambassadors as well. The better you treat a village, the sooner they start getting ambassadors. I'm trying to remember. Next nomad, remaining time. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Oh, I'm sorry, Forest Titan. Did I not, did I not focus on you long enough? Come on, let's cover the world in greenery and beauty. Nature is looking promising, but it could be even better. Have you tried making use of symbioses? Click on your favorite natural resource, <laughs> like a chicken or blueberry, and look at the symbiosis in the upper right corner. If all if it all seems like too much, yeah, we'll we'll focus on that. Oh, forest giant, why can you not get the forest spread? It's not working. Is it just not working here? Mm-mm, I guess we need some ocean over here. It's too dry. All right, let's get some ocean over here. Can we get a little little swamp swamp going? All right, so symbiosis. Well, let's zip over here. You guys need a little bit more food. Oh, I know, let's bring Water Titan when he's done because he's, he's currently crab walking his way all the way over here to start the forest. Um, let's see, leaf aspect upgrades a plant with leaf aspect. So, do we have any plants left? I think I took out all the plants. Yeah, we took out all the plants here. Ah, uh, technology in use. I guess we need to grow bigger. We have the capacity to use so much technology. We just need to grow bigger, I think. Because we need more food now. Drat! Alright, well, we'll get the food in by bringing... Woohoo, look at him! He made another ocean! by bringing water giant over here and adding some domestic animals right there. That'll be more fish. And if we want to upgrade the fish, this is an animal food resource, it's mackerel. Symbiosis, massive school, have one plus one animal range for 
uh, each other mackerel within the animal range. Sacks up two times. Good. All right. And transmutations means that you can upgrade a certain resource. So we can make it sea bass, transmute with a lesser hunting predator aspect or a lesser hunting aspect or better. Sea bass give food and hunt on small fish to grow larger. Or parrot fish, which we can use a lesser exotic aspect on. And that's actually what these are. If you see growth aspect, exotic aspect, seismatic aspect, we can unlock those kinds of things. Let's see, fruit aspect, hunt aspect. So we would need a predator aspect, which would be this one, unlocks with a desert village. Oh man, we ran out of time on the project. That's too bad. We were so close to Drat. I felt like we were just finally getting the village big enough that we would be able to get that done. But there we go. So I think we actually have the symbiosis going on these guys now because it's plus one for the more schools of fish that are nearby, which is very useful. All right, upgrades a plant with growth, growth aspect. So what we need to do is we actually need to get a desert town is what it's telling us. Because if you want to unlock the aspects, and in this case it looks like we'll really want to unlock the, the noble aspect, or excuse me, we want to unlock, where'd it go? There we go, the predator aspect. Then we need to get a desert ambassador. To get a desert ambassador, you have to have a mountain town. So let's come over here and get a mountain town started. All right, mountain giant, good luck. All right, I'm going to add this. And let's go ahead and help these guys grow because the faster that each village grows yes a swamp ambassador has appeared he can upgrade the following abilities he can give the forest giant the migrate ability uh, allowing you to move natural resources around which is very useful or he can give the ocean giant the herd ability giving food to animals he can give the rock giant the seismic ability giving tech and awe to minerals and he can give the, the swamp gi giant the toxic ability giving a uh, tech to plants. So I think in this case we'll try giving it to the herd. The herd ability maybe? Because can we upgrade our fish to be like herdy fish? Is that something? Lesser herd aspect. We can! Alright. So we want to give it to the ocean giant? Yeah. Alright. So here's our little ambassador. And we just assigned our ambassador to the ocean giant yay ambassadors are so important there we go now the ambassador is hanging out on top look at that oh it's adorable and we've got the herd aspect so we're going to come over here and we're going to upgrade this guy with the herd aspect to provide more food for our little village too bad we missed out on that project that would have been so useful oh we do have the druid yes it's been completed Specialization, herbalist, plus 15 tech for each plant within its borders, stacks up three times. Cook, plus uh, 25 tech if there is a tomato, salt, or marshmallow within its borders. Is this salt? No, this is marble. Ooh. And we have just upgraded this guy with the herd aspect, so now we can make parrot fish, which give a small amount of wealth, on, but their homes provide, a, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Ooh, look at that. Look how much more wealth has now spread everywhere because now we have parrotfish, a little tiny ecology, built and going. I love it. I love it. And now look at our little villagers. Oh my gosh, look at the cute little fountain. I totally forgot how adorable that little fountain is. Oh man, I love this. And look at the little druid's hut. Ah! So we want to try to get a tomato, marshmallow, or salt within the borders of... Um, salt would have to be it because these guys are supposed to be harbor town with at least eight ocean patches within its borders right now they have two but their borders have spread as we just saw so we'll try to keep that going yes and a blueberry oh here's that transmute ability that we just used on the parrot fish for an example nature is looking great but there are not many further developed further developed natural sources remember that you can transmute sources by upgrading them with the right aspect ability for example a blueberry can transmute in a strawberry with a leaf aspect a quartz can transmute in topaz with a noble aspect and a frog can transmute into an otter with the herd aspect transmuted sources are often stronger and have more possibilities that is so cool all right, so we'll probably be playing with that a little bit too, and we need to get more ambassadors. Do we have, we have a mountain, look at this. So let's make a little mountain range and get a desert going. 
I think we should be able to encourage a desert. In fact, actually, if I remember correctly, we need to turn surrounding dry wasteland into a desert. Ooh. All right, so we're going to start spreading deserts around. All right, rock giant, do your thing. We'll make a little village to honor you as well. All right, let's watch him raise this. And then how's forest doing? Let's add in more food for the forest clan. Oh, oh, wow, desert. Look at that. All right, so we just made like the biggest desert ever. And now we need to make sure that there is enough food and water and wealth and everything for any nomads or villagers who might settle in this area. So we'll get started on that and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.